welcome to Offsite Dirt. We are a construction media platform that invites all different types of construction from panelization, zip panels, which we're specifically going to speak about today, um, volumetric, high performance. We love talking about energy savings and all of these tools that help us to build better. Today with Thermosteel, we have Adi Ben Sr. and Aaron Gill. Welcome to the show today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. We're so happy you're here because we don't get to explore the whole light gauge steel product, and that really is your specialty. This company has been around since 1970 and has proven the zip panel, which is basically a structural insulated panel. But not only do they do a panel, they do the entire building envelope. So, Adi, we're going to start with you first. Can you give us a little bit of background and your position with the company? And then we'll move briefly over to Aaron. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you very much, Audrey. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm the CEO of Thermosteel um, and, and a part owner in the company. I've been with the company since 2015. Um, and my personal background, um, my, my PhD is in thermophysics of construction. And I studied civil engineering and, and structural engineering, uh, industrial engineering and architecture. Um, and, and for me, thermosteel is very, is, is very unique and interesting because it really provides a very different building solution from other conventional framing. There are so many other building systems out there today, um, but really what makes thermosteel unique is what you mentioned previously, is an entire building envelope. Uh, the ability to provide from foundation panels to exterior walls, interior walls, floors, roofs, jacks, kings, rough openings, headers, uh, even shear walls, uh, and completely uh, with no limitation of design. So if you need to have a building that is completely curved or, or round, um, then uh, that is that is available and we say if you can sketch it we, we can make it uh, so one of the probably more uh, cool facts about thermosteel it has been around since 1970. the inventor luther dickens was inspired under the world's energy crisis and he came up with an idea of creating a complete thermal break between the exterior face and the interior face of the wall and by doing that, he basically prevented the thermal bridging and the heat loss from the inside to the outside of the building. And so when you're looking today at our panels, they are all made with two parallel frames, as you can see here, where the interior face is completely not touching the exterior face. And, there is, and that is what's basically preventing the heat loss. And all the gap then was filled with insulation. So you're getting these panels that are R50 to R60, completely thermally broken. And now every panel is basically creating five jobs into one panel. First of all, it's a structure. It's a light gate steel structure. So every engineer that knows how to design light gate steel studs, every 16 inches in center would know how to deal with that. The second is you have obviously all the insulation. Every panel is providing R50 to R60 of thermal performances. The third is because the expanded polystyrene has perm rate very low and can withstand weather barrier with, or weather resistant, you don't need vapor barrier. The fourth, right, because you have a complete solid base of a panel to connect to, you don't need the sheathing. And finally, we have uh, the ability to provide all the rough openings into the, into the design. So five trades into one, into one panel. So in other words, we're reducing the time of execution and the, and the assembly um, into a very, very short period of time. And one of the things that is helping that very much so is the fact that the panels are very lightweight. So you can see here that these panels, 
weigh roughly uh, anything between 50 and 60 pounds. So you take a panel, you drop it in place, you secure it, and you're done. I love this. And Aaron, I'd love for you to jump in, if you don't mind. I'd love to know a little bit about your background, and thank you for being here. Sure. So I'm Aaron, obviously. Um, I came into Thermosteel. Um, I'm in the commercial real estate uh, financing space. And um, what's going on with the rates today, um, I have developers uh, who bought land or in contract of buying land and they need to build. But when they have a performer of four or five, six percent, those days are unfortunately not, not coming back for the while now. Uh, so what happened is I need to find a solution. So in order to help the developer, you know, come make his project come to fruition, we have to come up with some kind of a help to the developer. So after long searching, I came up, uh, I got the whole of a Thermosteel. So when I came first visit Thermosteel, I came to the factory and after visiting and showing and, and looking at the technology, I'm like, this is the solution. This is a solution that will help the developer. Whether you build a multifamily, whether you build a warehouse, uh, a multiplex, a townhouse project, or even a nursing facility, any commercial real estate that you need to build right now. Now, where's the beauty of it? The beauty of it is like when we just mentioned the high rates that was going on. So as a company, as a private citizen, I cannot control the rate, but we can help the developers, you know, get out and finish the project that much sooner. So something that, you know, where a developer would be in, you know, signing up for a commercial real estate loan for 24 months, 36 months of a project, and it'll be out in a quarter of a time, it's a tremendous saving to the developer. So it almost brings him back to the original time that he signed for four or five percent. Because if we calculate the savings, he saves that much. And not to mention the labor. As much as savings on the material and saving on the bill itself with the five in one that Thermostel offers, now he's savings on the labor. So one person can take on, you know, almost 160 square feet. And uh, it can build that, whether a house, whether it's, like I said, a multiplex, whether it's a building that can be built in, in months versus years, it's a tremendous saving. And like I said, when I got to Thermosteel, I, I enjoy it so much and I learned from Adi so much that he's not, he's not longer, not just a mentor anymore, he's a friend as well. And you know what? Every time that we talk to him, that I have a conversation with him, that I come to the factory, you know, to visit, it's a learning experience. And for that, you know, I'm grateful. And I urge uh, anybody in the real estate space, they're looking for savings, they're looking for some help, you know, with today's environment. I welcome them to come and see the Thermosteel, you know, study the Thermosteel product and they'll be just as amazed as me. I love that. And thank you for that overview. I think it's super important because obviously with every project, finance is connected to it. So giving us a clear understanding of what your experience has been has been super valuable. Adi, let's get back to you and let's talk a little bit about the high performance and the carbon capture of your product. Can you walk us through a little bit more about why this thermosteel panel product, this offsite solution is making such an environmental impact? Sure. So let's start with, with a simple with a simple facts. The, the thermal performance of the panels are anything between R50 to R60. So to begin with, you're getting a lot of insulation. The second thing, you don't you have a complete thermal break between the interior face and the exterior face. So that helps mitigate uh, and reduce much of the thermal load. And so right off the get-go, you are building a house that is completely uh, insulated from all faces, from roof to the exterior walls, even to the floors and the foundation. So that really sets aside you know, all the thermal load and encapsulates. Basically, you're, you are building an ice chest. That's what you're doing. But instead of building an ice chest that is going to be two inches thick, you're building an ice chest that is going to be five or six or seven inches thick. And, and so, so that's the first thing, right? The second thing is once you're doing that, 
you're downsizing all your mechanical equipment. And on average, we see that there is value engineering that reduces mechanical equipment by anything between two thirds to three quarters. And we see today that we're getting back from people who build with us houses, for example, somebody who built with us in New Jersey, 5,000, almost 6,000 square feet house, and he's getting energy bills of less than $150 a month. We see people who are building here in, in, in Virginia Tech area, student housing and, and units for 16 students come on average $120 a month in the winter. You know, so, so the savings is huge. And obviously this, this saving is being translated directly to carbon footprint, if, right? So, so that's one thing on the performance of the house. But then again, let's look at the technology. Well, we're using light gate steel and expanded polystyrene. So first of all, we're not using natural resources. We're not contributing to cutting down trees. So we're saving about 1,560 trees every year. In addition to that, our facility is 100% recycled, is using about 20% of recycled materials, and is using only steam and waste-free. So on the on on we're really on the edge on the energy environment or friendly, you know, eco-friendly in industry of being eco-friendly and, and taking responsibility towards making the community and making the environment a better place. And that's such a big deal. You know, we have been talking and I love Adi that you've been kind of you know, working with us and, and really following the dirt. We love that. And I love that your product has so many areas of expertise, high performance, offsite solution. You know, we were also talking with Aaron about finance. And now let's kind of talk a little bit more because I know you talked about it briefly and please feel, um, feel free to share your screen, but let's talk about the unlimitations right there's there's unlimited possibilities with a steel frame design that you guys have created walk us through do you have any projects or anything that you want to share and show us sure so uh, yeah so a lot of the limitations that we see today with off-site construction is that you have straight corners you have limitations of designs architects are having to limit their design to the capabilities of the technology. But one of the amazing things that Thermosteel has developed over the years is no limitations of design. Within an eighth of an inch, with whatever you want to do, we can do it for you. And, we, and, and that's our slogan. If you can sketch it, we can make it. And, and one of the things that truly fascinated me over uh, when, when I came to look at Thermosteel was to see these curved walls and to see, you know, completely passive homes as they used to call them in, as early as 1971. So, you know, the whole idea of NZB is, is not foreign to us. Ultra energy efficient, completely round walls. Look, look at this project, for example. Okay, you'll have to reshare it because I took you down because I wanted to see your, your face when you were talking to us. So if you don't mind sharing mm -hmm. again, that would be great. Sure, okay, do you see it right now? Do you see it now? Yes, we're good. Uh huh. Okay, so here you can see um, passive homes from 1971. And again, you can see all R35 thermal performance, completely curved walls, completely round roofs. Uh, you can see here projects that we built in Siberia uh, 40 years ago. Uh, look at the design, completely curved walls, completely round openings. What, what's the alternative to build it with brick? What's the alternative to, to do it with wood zips? You cannot do it, we can, right? Projects like we're doing, we de develop here, complete geodesic, uh, geodesic domes that are, are designed to withstand 250 miles an hour wind. Buildings that, like this one, this is a 1,500 square feet, three-story building designed for a Z-sphere that is uh, completely off the grid, all R50. So, and by the way, this whole thing weighs 3,200 pounds. 
and was assembled with, with three people in two days. So, so what's the alternative, right? Yeah, I agree with you. And we were also talking about assembly, right? And we were talking about um, single family homes. And it's great because you serve all markets. You serve industrialized, you serve residential, you serve commercial. Um, let's talk a little bit. Would you be able to show one of your projects with a um, home system? Because it was really interesting how simple you guys have really made the process of assembly. Yes. Um, let me share with you um, here. The, here is a project that we did for Habitat for Humanity uh, earlier this year. It's a seven, it's a seven unit building uh, that we have installed only with high school kids. This is all, so you can see here the entire building envelope, the exterior walls, the roof, the interior walls, the party walls, everything is done with Dermasteel. And uh, you can see how the building is all R50. And, and look at that, no dumpsters on site, no scaffolding, no debris. Um, here, I'll, I'll just run another one for you here, another project. an entire building envelope and everything comes ready for assembly on the site. So all the projects are bundled up. All the headers and the jacks and kings are all provided. All the plates and accessories are provided. And it's just like a big Lego. I love that. And I love like you were saying that you can have um, a team of maybe not the most experienced people to understand the process. And I'm sure your your team obviously will be consulting and helping them through it, but it does make it, it makes it a smart opportunity, right? It makes it a smart opportunity that we've been asking, you know, everybody is seeing this huge impact that we're having with not only homelessness, but the amount of homes that we currently need to date is about 5 million homes. And so we're starting to see that there are solutions and there are ways to build. And your product, like we were talking about before, foundation panels, exterior, interior walls, floor panels, roof panels, header and beams. So you're really a full service, full in the integrated building solution, right? Right. And, and, and so whether you're a DIY, whether you're an experienced framer, or whether you know you just want to build a house on the top of a mountain, you know you can do it because the panels are so many. Many times you cannot just bring the product to the site because of weight, right? So where conventional sips are weighing about three to four hundred pounds a piece, and you need a crane to install it, and you need the ability to reach to the site. Well, with these panels, because they are 50, 60 pounds a piece, you know you just take it, drop it in place, secure it, put the screws in, and you're done. And and let me Audrey, let me let me show you this one because I think that I haven't shown you this one, and, and here you can see again high school kids for the first time taking panels, so putting them down. Put the pretty easy. Pretty easy. Just look at that. It's amazing. It's amazing, and how great that we're also helping build trades, right? And trying to also show them that. There are some exciting things that you can do in um, construction. I love the the panels. So the panels come into, do you build that into the foundation or those are just placed on top with like a lag bolt or how are those instilled? Right, so you can see that once the foundation so is being poured, uh -huh. so let me just stop here for a second. So once the foundation is being poured, we're laying your track on the contour of the exterior walls or the interior walls, and then we're placing the bundles right next to the relevant wall. Okay. And then you're just taking the panels, dropping it into the track, securing securing in place, and you're moving to the next one. I love it. It's brilliant. Wow. Walls, floors, and roof. And you just see, look, look at the construction site. No, no debris, no dumpsters. Here you can see here they're putting the track, and you can see. Teenagers putting the entire building envelope together 
in a matter of days. It's super inspiring. It makes us it makes us understand that building doesn't have to be complicated. And not only does it not have to be complicated, it can be a really well built product. Yeah. And it also is good for the environment, right? I mean, I think those are the keys. I think that you guys have really um, executed such a great business model, not to mention you've been around since 1970, almost 50 years. Yeah. Actually, 52 <laughs> years or 53 years, right? And over, I was also um, reading, you guys have done 75,000 projects. Do you guys, yes. what What do you see as the future? Are you going to be expanding to other areas? Are you gonna just keep staying in Virginia? What's the plan for the future? So obviously um, we are expanding. We're expanding. Um, we, we have a satellite office now in California. We have a small satellite office in Florida. Um, we have achieved and got all the code approvals for uh, for Europe, for the for the uh, European Union, and we have uh, actually even a small office uh, that we started operating a few months ago in Bucharest, Romania. Um, so, so uh, definitely um, the, the the idea is to be able to grow the company, but grow it in a, I will say, with a good sense of being responsible towards the environment and helping our community. So we're always very involved with the community. We're always making donations. We're always trying to help. We're always trying to solve all the problems that people have today with labor shortage, with, with, with limited resources. And again, talking about the things that you talked previously that you mentioned and Aaron mentioned previously, uh, there is always a secondary uh, value proposition, which is reducing carbon footprint because you don't need to shoot, ship from multiple vendors, right? So now you're reducing carbon footprint on trucking, right? And now there is, you're talking about 5 million homes that are remained. Well, the beauty of this system is, let's say that in 15 or 20 years, you don't want this house in a row, or you wanna move it to a different place. You disassemble the panels and you take them elsewhere. And if you don't wanna do that, you can fully recycle them as well. So again, no carbon footprint uh, and being responsible towards the environment. Wonderful. So not only do we have a high performing product, an offsite solution, one that is working with the community, um, also one that has been around for 52 years, 75,000 um, products later and, and just having these successes and now expanding, right? That's where we need to be. Adi and Aaron, thank you so much for being here thank on you. Offsite Dirt. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much for taking the time and I'm looking forward. We are too. And we're looking forward to greater success stories, amazing yeah. buildings. The high performance of what you guys are creating is really something that we should all be concerned with. Start asking questions and possibly look up a product that maybe you never thought steel was something that you wanted to do, but the zip panel this insulated structure can really make all the difference in your building applications. I'm Audrey Grabesic with Offsite Dirt. This is another Offsite Construction Series with Thermoseal. Thank you for being here, and we can't wait to Take see care. you again very soon. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much.